fans of Downton Abbey and historic stately homes should add Castle Howard in North Yorkshire to their travel list. Consistently ranking high on lists of the world's best mansions, Castle Howard is one of the most magnificent homes in England, and the story of the family who still keeps it running today may remind you of the fictional Crawley family. Even the driveway, what's called the Avenue, a five-mile beach-lined road, is more than impressive. Once you reach Castle Howard, both the outside and inside are striking, and there's a world of intriguing stories and anecdotes that history expert Jane Blunt relays on our tour. If we go back to 1699, the third Earl decided to build a house here because it was closer to the city of London. He asked all the architects and found John Vanbrugh, who strangely had never built a house before. This was his very first house. Um, but he was a man full of ideas and broke the conventional rules. So if we look at the house here, you can see not only one classical order, but many. The pilasters there are Doric, the groove work, the lines you see scored, are Gothic rustication, which are completely gone out of fashion. And Vanbrugh brings it back. The skyline is bristling with urns and statues and things to see. And it is said that the people who first came to visit Castle Hard would draw up in their coaches over there, step out, behold the building, and had to reach for their laudanum and their fans. Such was their shock when they beheld this building. The architect, John Vanbrugh, was not only radical in his designs for Castle Howard, and for even undertaking the role of architect for this massive project with no formal training in architecture, but equally daring throughout his life, spending time in prison for trying to overthrow the Catholic king, James II, and writing a series of plays deemed by many as risque and sexually explicit. It took more than a hundred years to complete Castle Howard, and though this isn't the home where Downton Abbey is filmed, it has been a private home for over 300 years. And much like the fictional Crawley family, the Howard clan has worked hard and become innovative in their methods of preserving this great estate. Castle Howard has served as a backdrop for a variety of productions, including the 1981 TV series and 2008 film versions of Brideshead Revisited. It's also open to visitors. So if you want to live out your British aristocratic fantasy for just one day, visit Castle Howard and stand in awe of its beauty and all its historic eccentricities.